Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, I've got a fountain pen showdown of sorts for you. We're not going to follow the exact format of a showdown because in this one, I'm more interested in taking a look at actually the pen looks. The two pens we're going to take a look at, we've got a Narwhal Nautilus. This is in the primary manipulation 3.5 color. Had this quite a while. We're going to compare it against one of my newer acquisitions. This is made by Just Turnings. This is a hand turned pen and it's got Brooks Blanks Golden Blue Jay. Just reading that off a card to make sure I say it right. Very different than the other one, isn't it? So what I thought we'd do is we'd do a shootout or a showdown between the two of them. So join me now down on the mat. We'll take a close look at these pens, do some writing samples, then I'll give you my thoughts on these pens. Here we are down on the mat. So the two pens, the Just Turnings Enceladus. This is in Brooks Blanks Golden Blue Jay. I think this is so pretty. Just turn it around, you know, we've got up here, we've got like coppers and browns and oranges. We've got greens, we've got blue, there's so, like silver, there's gold. Very, very pretty to look at. The second pen, the Narwhal Nautilus. This is the 365 edition, uh, Cano Crystals. This again is an Brutz material and it's primary manipulation 3.5. And again, as I turn this around, just look at it. So pretty. Up until I got this Just Turnings one, I always described this as the prettiest pen that I had. I think now we're talking about a battle. But again, we've still got coppers in there, greens. Got more purple in there here. Silver coming through. Seems to be a lot more colour popping on the Narwhal than what I see on the Just Turnings pen. The other big difference between the two of them, the Just Turnings pen, that's hand turned. Whereas with the Narwhal, I'm not sure if it's still hand turned, but in China, or if there's some other mechanism, some kind of automated mechanism for creating this. That's something I just haven't been able to find out. So something I am interested in digging into a bit more, and I will try and follow that up as I go along. We're not going to take a detailed review of these pens. We're just going to be taking a quick look and more focusing on where there's differences. So let's take a walk through the body. Starting with the shape, if I put them next to each other now, the just turnings, we have more of a dome on the top than we have with the Narwhal. The Narwhal we've got there a disc and it's got the limited edition number on. There was 365 of this made and this is, I think that's 309. The Narwhal seems to be wider, you know, as we look down it, definitely see more width on the Narwhal. With the Just Turnings, we've just got the material. With the Narwhal, we have a clip and we've got a band down here at the bottom. Just look at this band. Again, the band's quite pretty. Does provide a bit of protection for the bottom of the cap. Not that I've ever had an issue with that. On the Narwhal, that drops straight off down to the body. On the Just Turnings, there's a taper down to the body. So we've got a noticeable step on the Narwhal. Yes, there's one there on the Just Turnings, nowhere near as noticeable. Just move this down a bit. I keep pushing it and it pushes out of camera. Both pens are round. The Narwhal, as we come down towards the end of the body, we've got this blind cap. This is a piston filling pen. The Just Turnings, we've got nothing. We've just got the end, which is very similar to how it's done at the top. Not sure how I feel. I actually quite like seeing it without all this trim on it. I think the Just Turning one, it just doesn't detract from the prettiness of the material. Whereas with the Narwhal, it does a little bit. The Narwhal, we've also got here an ink window. 
just undo that a little bit. So it's a fairly small ink window. Personally, I don't find it much use. It's a bit too small for me. But at least you've got some idea how much ink is in there. Let's take the caps off. So they're just turning. It's going to be difficult. I'm going to start here. And there's half a turn. One turn. One and a half turns. Just over one and a half turns for that cap to come off. That reveals a section made in the same material. Let's do the same now with the now wall. We've got the clip we can use. So there's half, one, one and a half, two, about two and a quarter turns. And again, reveals a section in the same material as the rest of the pen. So again, they look quite nicely. The difference we get is in with the nibs. So the just turn ins nib, that's a Yoho nib. It comes with that. You can pick the size you want. I went for broad. I like broad nibs. The nib on the Narwhal, this isn't actually the nib that came with it. It came with a Narwhal nib, which they say is in-house made. It was only medium. The broads had all sold out. What I've actually done is I've swapped the nib. It just unscrews the whole unit. And in its place, I've put a Goulet broad nib, which is a Yoho nib. So when we come to doing the writing, we're actually going to have Yoho and Yoho, which is an interesting comparison. Just be aware, I'm not comparing the nib that came with the Narwhal. Let me pop the caps back on. Now, one thing I am also going to point out before we move on to weights and measures, and see here on the Narwhal, it doesn't look like the top is fitting. When I last cleaned this out, the whole top came off. And I thought I'd put it on properly, but when I last filled it, it came out a little bit. So what I need to do is, once this ink's finished, is strip down the pen, give it a good cleaning, and try and reassemble it properly. Just something to be aware of. And remember, it's a piston mechanism. This is needed to work that. So although I don't have an issue at the moment, I'm a bit concerned this may end up leaking. Let's swap over the view and fetch in some size comparisons. First two size comparisons, the standard ones, Pilot Metropolitan, Lamy Safari. Both my other pens, far bigger. Let's look at them unposted. Unposted, both of today's pens, about the same length, both slightly larger than the Safari. Will these pens post? It will start with the Narwhal. It doesn't, it doesn't even go on there. So it's not a pen to post. Unposted, it's a nice size. Remember that normally this gap wouldn't be there. With the Just Turnings pen, that will post. It only posts up to there. So we've only got a little bit of a posting. So although it feels secure, it's very long. And to be honest, I find unposted, this is more than long enough. It's really nice to use unposted. So we won't bother looking at any posted views. Let's swap the view and fetch in some pens in roughly the same price ranges. So we're starting off unposted. We've got a Bennu Talisman that was 167 Aussie dollars. The Just Turnings, it's an Enceladus model that was 185 Australian dollars. The Narwhal 365 Cano Crystals, this Nautilus shape, that was 241 Aussie dollars. And then the Leonardo Ferrari, that was 230 Australian dollars. All the pens, very similar lengthwise. The Ferrari, just a little bit shorter. Let's look at these with the caps on. With the caps on, again, the Ferrari ever so slightly shorter. The Talisman, definitely a lot shorter. One of the things I was just thinking as I was putting these out, we've got the Bennu. I think this model was made when they were still in Russia, but I believe they're now based in Armenia. The Just Turnings, that's from Australia. The Narwhal, it's an American company, but I believe it's made in China. And then the Leonardo, that's from Italy. So a bit of a tour of the world as well with this selection. Let's move these out of the way and we'll fetch in the rule of measuring. Here we've got the rule of measuring. So we'll start with the Just Turnings pen. Its length, 14.7 centimetres. Unposted. 
that's 13.4 centimeters. I say it will post, makes it very long, 18.8 centimeters. The body, at its widest point, 1.38 centimeters. The cap, 1.51 centimeters. And then the section, that goes from 1.07 up to 1.18 at either end. With the now wall, stretch my rule up a little bit. Oh, moved all over the place. I'm knocking things all over today. So with the cap on, 14.9 centimeters. Unposted, 13.2 centimeters. We know it doesn't post. Body, the widest part is 1.4 centimeters. So only about 0.2 centimeters wider, but you can tell the difference. The cap, 1.55 centimeters. Again, about 0.4 of a centimeter wider. The section goes from 1.05 at the narrowest up to 1.19. Again, you can actually feel the difference, or certainly I can. Let's swap over and fetch in the scales of weighing. Here we've got the scales of weighing. Again, we'll start with that just turnings pen. Total pen, 20 grams. The body, 15 grams. The cap, 5 grams. The narwhal, total pen, 35 grams. A substantial difference. You can really feel the difference in the weight. The pen body, 22 grams. The body, it actually weighs more than the total of the other pen. The cap, 13 grams. So how much as much as the body of the other pen weighs. This has got that piston filling mechanism in it though. Got to bear that in mind. Plus it's got more ink in than what we get on the cartridge converter of the Just Turnings pen. Let's swap over and fetch in the notepad of testing. Here we've got the notepad of testing. Oxford Optic Paper. This is a black and red A5 notebook. Here we go, black and red. He says, showing at the front. Let's get this lined back up again. Let's do some writing. We're going to start with the Just Turnings pen. As I've said, I know I didn't show you this earlier on, this one's a cartridge converter. There we go. We've got an orange ink in here at the moment. I think it should be possible to eyedropper this because we've got plastic on plastic or resin on resin. You know, if I was going to do that, I'd see if I can get an O-ring and I'd certainly put plenty of silicon grease on there. To be honest, I don't intend eyedropper in it. I wouldn't be able to tell how much ink is left and that's one thing I like to know. So we've got here, just turnings. I'm actually going to put the model that it, it said it is. It's Enceladus. But I've spelt that wrong. It's a broad nib. And price-wise, we'll go down to the next line, was 185 Aussie dollars. I've got an Australian ink in here, Australian pen. Right, let's have that Australian ink. So we've got Van Diemen. This is a Tasmanian based company. Just Turnings are based in Brisbane, which is in Queensland. And the ink is deciduous. Beach. I've had this ink quite a while and I've had it in a number of different pens. I'm going to be honest, this is the first pen where I really like this ink in here. I'm on the second filling of this pen since I bought the pen with this ink. Once this one's run out, I am going to try some different colors. I do like this combination. I just like to explore different colors when I first get a pen, and then I may come back to this one. Drying times. So there's media. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. One minute. After a minute, that's still fairly wet. What I'm going to do is a two minute test.
yeah, two minutes, that's nice and dry. I'm going to move the mic down to the page so you can hear the pen write. That's very nice. Hint of feedback. Not sure if that came over on the mic. Definitely hear it. You can definitely feel it. It's got a nice tactile nature to the nib. Line variation. So no pressure. With some pressure. Feels like it's catching quite a lot on the page. None with. None with. Don't really see much difference there. And then my floor test. Keeps up quite nicely, goes all the way across this A5 bit. Just going to move the notebook up ever so slightly. Let's do our writing sample now with the other pen, the Narwhal. So we've got here a Narvalur 365. It's a broad Yoho nib and cost wise. That was 241 Aussie dollars. Then there was a roughly $10 extra, which is what I paid for the nib. The ink by Colt Pens. And it's Little Pip. Now, yes, I know I'm not using the same ink. Very obvious, orange and purple. But I like this ink in this pen. I'm quite enjoying it. I think in this broad nib coming out really well on here. And it does pick up quite nicely some of the darker purples in the body. Drying times. We got immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. One minute. Two minute test. Dry after two minutes. We'll move the mic and do some writing. Line variation, no pressure, with pressure, none, with, none, with. So although this nib does feel a bit stiffer, I'm certainly seeing a bit more line variation with it. Flow. I'm loving the broad nib on this pen. I think it writes so much nicer than when it had the medium. So what are my thoughts on these two pens? The Just Turnings pen. Very, very nice. Very pretty. I actually quite like the fact that we've got more of this dark colour. Although it looks black, and I think coming over on the camera, it looks black. It's more of a very dark bluey purple to me when I see it in real life. It's really pretty and I like the swirls that we've got on it. It's not in your face whereas the other one feels a little bit as if it's slapping you in the face with prettiness. This it's not muted but it's not as much. I think it looks a lot nicer. We've got some nice writing here. Got some nice shading coming through in this orange. As I said I'm on my second fill and normally Certainly with new pens, I change the ink after each fill. But with this one, I'm just enjoying this ink in this pen. 
And yes, I am going to change it after this one's run out, but I may come back to this because I just think it's such a nice combo. And I love the shading we're seeing. Really nice. Lots of character. With the now wall. Again, it's pretty, this primary manipulation 3.5. It's nice. In your face, I've already said that. This is the nice thing with this golden blue jay. I've already hold it out, but in your face. If it's something I'm using at home, I'd quite like this. I like the fact I've changed the nib. If we look at the way it writes in this ink, there, can you see that? Gorgeous gold sheen in this ink. Loads of it, absolutely loads. And I think that paints the purples, and then when we get that sheen, you know, that picks out more of the gold colours. So that's why I've got this ink in this pen. Really like it. We'll look at the Tomoe River paper. This first page, this is the Just Turnings pen. Very nice to write with. Loads of shading coming through on the Tomoe River paper. Looks so nice. Go to the page next to it. That's the Narwhal. There we go. Narwhal 365. Again, you can see the purple base colour, but then when I start to move around, you can see that gold colour coming through. I've got to be honest, I don't see as much of the sheen on the Tomai River paper as I am here on this Oxford Optic paper. This Oxford Optic right in your face, isn't it? Of the two pens, which do I think is the prettiest pattern? That's so difficult for me to answer that sort of question because I like them both. I think at this moment, if I was to pick, I'd actually pick this golden blue jay. I just think it's not as in your face and that's what makes the difference. I'd quite happily take this out and about. I'd take it to meetings. The primary manipulation 3.5, it's nice, but I think I've already said this, it's something... To be honest, I don't only tend to use at home because it's just too in your face. Writing experience, both very nice. Both hear her nibs, so you'd expect a very similar experience. I do think the nib on the narwhal is slightly stiffer. That could be though because of the black coating that might add a little bit extra stiffness to it. And I think it adds a little bit more feedback when I'm writing. But certainly both pens, love them both. You know, I've had this one inked up virtually constantly for over a year. I've had this inked up since I've got it, which is only a few weeks ago. But I can see this being another one constantly inked up. So they are my thoughts on the Just Turnings Enceladus in Baruch Blanc's Golden Blue Jay and the Narwhal 365 in Baruch Blanc's Primary Manipulation 3.5. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have you got any Brooks materials? These are the only two pens that I've got using that. Have you got any other materials from other companies? Please drop your comments down below. What can you recommend? Which ones do you think that I'd like? Please hit the thumbs up button. Every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.